The term dead ends is something I never really understood. Of course, we're talking about hair here, whether it's your beard or your head hair, and specifically hair care and hair grooming. So with that like lack of understanding, I wanted to look into it. I wanted to break it down and unpack it with you guys and go over some kind of surrounding topics that have to do with dead ends. So if that sounds good to you guys, please hit a thumbs up on this video right now and if you're new here and you're like, hey, what's going on? Let me introduce myself. My name is Dan C. Bearded, and this channel is all about beards. <laughs> yes, literally a channel dedicated to beard care, beard products, beard science, and nerding out on all those details. If you're like, okay, I'm in the right spot, please consider subscribing. And if you're returning, thank you guys so much. So to jump right into it, the first thing that I want to say is kind of something that I know is on a lot of your minds. And you hear the term dead ends, and you're going to say, well, isn't the hair dead already? Isn't the entire hair dead? Well, not really. There's kind of two parts to any hair. Part of it is living and part of it is dead. The living part of the hair is at the surface of the skin and below. That is alive. That is thriving. That is getting nutrients. It's delivering hydration and it can actually transport hydration all the way down the hair. Now, if you don't believe me, go a day and don't drink a lot of water. See what your beard feels like. The next day, really hydrate. Drink a lot of water and see what your beard feels like and tell me which one is better. Spoiler, it's the day where you have hydration. It makes a massive difference. So at the surface, it is living. Beyond that, once the hair is outside of the skin, you can kind of pinch and pull that hair, it is dead. It is essentially stacked up keratin skin cells that are just layering on top of each other. It's the same thing that makes up our nails. Same kind of concept. If you are dehydrated, if you're not healthy, your nails are gonna be brittle, they're not gonna look good, they're not gonna feel good, but they're technically dead. So we are looking at kind of two parts, living hair, dead hair, but then if we take a look at this phrase, dead ends, well, my beard is really long. When you think of ends, you think of something down here. So technically, yes, the ends are dead on any hair that's outside your skin, but so is the middle, so is the lower part. It's just the actual base that is living. So what is this term referring to when we say dead ends? It's just another name for split ends. Where did it come from? Why is it there? I don't know. I'm assuming it came from the idea that the hair is dead, but it's just not an accurate use of the term. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. It is split ends. Now, what is that? If you guys want to look up, I have like four or five videos on this over the last five years. If you just want to search on YouTube, Dancy Bearded Split Ends, I'm going to break it down in kind of a summary way. Essentially, it's at the ends of your hair, and you can have damage at any part, but we commonly see it at the end, and I'll explain why in a second. It's where you physically see damage. A hair should just be one shaft. If you start to see it split, if you start to see it loop, if you start to see it really thin at the end, that is damage. Now, why are we seeing it at the ends? Why is it split ends, dead ends, everything's at the end? Well, that's the part that is usually getting the most contact. If I'm putting on a coat, it's brushing here. If I'm sleeping, it's usually this that's hitting the sheets, hitting the pillow. Even though I do recommend silk and satin, much better on your skin, much better on your hair, especially your beard. But that's where that comes from. Are split ends natural? Are dead ends normal? No. Something is going wrong if you do have split ends. There's things that are natural you can't do anything about, such as shedding. You're going to lose beard hairs every single day, whether you notice or not. And some of you can be losing a lot depending on the season, depending on where your growth cycle is at. You can lose up to like 35 beard hairs on a normal day. And you probably don't even realize you're losing arm hair, you're losing back hair. Every hair on your body is going to shed. So that's natural. That's normal. Split ends, they are not. Something is going wrong either internally, externally, or both. Are you more stressed lately? Are you not drinking as much water? Has your exercise declined? Has your food intake, as far as the health side of things, gone down the hill? All of those are going to impact your beard and lead to things like split ends. All right, what about externally? Are you over grooming, going too fast, too aggressively? Are you using the wrong kind of tools that are damaging the hair? Are you using heat, which I love and is great. I use it every day, but are you using it too hot? Are you using it for too long? All of those things can have a factor. What about your job? Do you have something that is brushing against your beard all day? Are you looking down for a living and typing and it's on your shirt and then moving back and forth? Believe it or not, all those things can add up and cause some problems with split ends. So essentially to answer this question, dead ends are split ends. And I think that is just kind of an 
outdated and not very useful term. It's just gonna cause confusion when we start looking at, well, the hair's dead, why is it the end? They're split ends, all right? You don't want them, find them, cut them out. You physically need to cut them. You cannot repair split ends. There's nothing out there that will bring the, those hair fibers back together. You got to trim them and then find the cause and get rid of that. Make those adjustments. If you guys have any questions, I'm an open book. Please reach out. Dan C. Bearded on Instagram or Dan underscore command at yahoo.com for email. I have my description information on every single video. You guys, I welcome that. I'm glad to help you guys out. So questions, comments, had you guys heard of dead ends before? Did you know it was split ends? Does it bug you? Do you use the term? Let me know your thoughts. And is there something I said that you're like, hmm, I'm wondering on this. I would love to be able to explain and dive deeper. So thank you guys for watching today. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Please stay bearded and stay positive.